Let's watch Letard and cheer for Letard. Absolute legend, Johan Melo is up against nine deathless. We've seen him. Oh, Cryptlord first. We've seen him. When did we see him, guys? It was last week, wasn't it? Was it our Flow TV session? Or was it one of the tournaments we had recently? I forgot. But we ha have seen Nine Deathless. He's wild. He's playing a wild style. I think Letot will destroy him. I'm actually not 100% sure if this is best of one or best of three. Does anybody know? By the way, shout out to the Liquipedia people who created four round of 16 groups for this. Best of three? Cool. So in Todd's bracket, we can check this out real quick. Todd is in group B. In Todd's bracket, there's quite some interesting people. Look at this. There's Remind in the bracket. There's Ted in the bracket. There's PCG in the bracket, and there's Todd in the bracket. That's pretty sick. Todd vs. Ted in 2023. Todd vs. Remind in 2023. Feels freaking great. Forces are under attack. All right, so two spots at the same time. Single limb, best of three. Okay, nice. That's good to know. Crypt Lord. Yeah, is a solid weapon, I think. Edo Boy style, but it can be exploited. And I wonder if Todd knows how Nine Deathless is playing, or if he's just, you know, figuring out on the fly. I also wonder when they were informed about the bracket. That changes quite a bit. But Todd is getting the levels first. He's going to the expo. Nine Deathless is still far away. And has to take care about his own. Nice scouting. Real nice scouting. A player's forces are under attack. But is he finishes uh, is he finishing this in time? Oh my god, he's starting with a double ring. Are you kidding me? This meme has his own lags. Okay, he gets the level 3, that was important. Worker put to the side, very good. Takes out the skeletons with relative ease. Archmage is trapped here, massive impale by 9 Deathless. And uh oh, this is hurting quite a bit. Archmage is still trapped. Thank god he got the rings, huh? Otherwise he would probably be dead already. But can he still fight out? Oh my god, what a slaughter this is. Counter pressure onto the Crypt Lord. Archmage still alive here. These beetles don't do anything to him, really. And now he can clean this up without using the town portal. That's so important. One kill after the next. Half a level gained there as well. Nine Deathless closing in on level three. New round of militia called. Archmage survives. Footman survive. And Togged holds this. But there's no expo yet. Sick opening! Oh, careful. Sick, sick, sick opening. Oh, damn, I got the... Wrong health bars. Oh, always. Sorry, I was uh, experimenting a little. Alright, Expo coming, Tower coming. Thank you, Slacer, for raiding us. Much love. We are casting the TP League qualifier. TP League is the biggest tournament in China this year, probably. The spiritual successor of WGL. And Todd is playing alongside other legends like Remind and Ted. So, uh, yeah, pretty promising. <laughs> Buying a mantle. All right. We learned that Todd was practicing with Leon a lot or hanging out. Like, a uh, human brain storm. How good is the storm, though? There was still a corpse to new beetles, but towers at 50%. Quick repair by Todd as well. Man, he's really up to the task today, as it seems. 
playing Scars later as well. Apple skill burn, 65 month resub, let's go! That's a long time, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Expo up. Counter to the Beatles also up. Archmage hiding in the shadows. This will be a late tech, though. Oh, 6.30. It's actually not that bad. Lumber management by Todd, pretty good. And everything's hurt. If only there were an impale for nine deathless. Gotta be careful now. This will feed the Crypt Lord up to level four if all of this dies. Nine deathless playing a lot better than the letter game we've seen from him. Constant aggression, constant pressure. He is a little further ahead in tech, but that's the nature of the build. Late game will belong to Todd. Human tier three is insane. And once you get there, it's really hard, especially with the Crypt Lord, to deal with it. Two more kills. Crypt Lord also constantly in the range of an Arcane. Hiding again. And Expo stays up without too many casualties. Level 4. God damn, these humans are leveling so fast these days. Nine Deathless sell the altar? No, not really. We're arriving on tier two. Oh man, please give me Ted vs. Todd or Todd vs. Remind. Imagine the YouTube clicks. I'm gonna be a YouTube millionaire. And that's what it's all about here, isn't it? Okay, more towers. Tech almost done. We still invest into footmen because we have so many of them. And it's time for the slaughterhouse. This is very reminiscent of what a Fortitude plays, of what a Leon played yesterday. It's awesome. Delay the statues for as long as you can. It's the Achilles heel, these slaughterhouses. And that one's cancelled. Fiends are coming. Alright. Oh, if he kills the shop, that's huge. Oh my god, the footman. <laughs> yeah, there's a killer too. But you want to rotate out of them anyway. And this is way better than creeping. You don't need to creep at the moment. You're level 4 already. Shouldn't feed the Crypt Lord too much. That's gonna be problematic. Who's burning through his entire mana pool, though, without the chance for statues currently, and without access to mana potions. Oh, he got the second shop up. That was smart by Nine Deathless. So, is the counter-attack hitting? Zeppelin. With a Shredder? Really, Nine Deathless? Okay. What? Are you guys kidding me? You're complaining about this attack? This attack was amazing. Cancelling the Slaughterhouse is worth so much more. Than the life of Footman. Sorry. Sorry, Footman. But that's true. And you want to rotate out of them anyway. Oh my god. Imagine the last hit. 11.25. Letard! Letard with the last hit. Oh boy, he's so good at that. It's ridiculous. I know he's playing a little bit of Dota. This was also a little careless by Nine Deathless. But man, this was sick. Lots of items now bought, but alright. It's fine. 
keeps track of the zap. Is there gyros or anything? Any, any anti-air? I don't think so. Yeah, good luck with that zap. It's not going anywhere. We're getting anti-air with workshops. Castle tech is almost done. Knights are about to come out. Looking good, looking real good. Deathless is only halfway tier 3. That is ridiculous. Values the double ring. Knights on the ground. Gyros in the air. And no Dreadlord against them. That is problematic. Not even the Lich for the nuke. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, this is definitely Todd's game to lose here now. And he shouldn't really. Little bit low lumber, but he's also investing into everything that human has to offer. Find his opponent again, as there was basically nothing else left. Are the knights here already? No, it's just the heroes. Sweet little reveal. He would love to have his uh, crystal ball, but hey, he just wants to kill him now with two knights. Forces a town portal. Big Arachnithid still up for grabs. Takes the fiend. Flawless. And you guys were complaining about the footman donation to the base. <laughs> oh, come on. A player's forces are under attack. And no chance for DDD. So many knights. And soon to be so many gyros. Upgrades queued as well. Legion Doomhorn. There we go. Br Brilliant Zora for mana region. Unholy Aura for health region. And movement speed. It's very well equipped, I'd say. Close to level 5, Crypt Lord. That's a little problematic. But yeah, the other heroes are. Oh, especially the Liches and the levels. Can't play versus human without Lich these days. Lich definitely looks the strongest. Like, Crypt Lord is a little bit of a meme and cheese thing. It's really strong on lower levels. But for the top, top, top level, I don't think it's enough. It's definitely a playstyle thing. Like, Happy would never really go Dreadlord. An Edo boy would never really go Lich. Small supply advantage. Ooh, these gyros are fodder. He's diving deep into the towers. Is that the right call? I don't think so. One destroyer down. Rest of the army is joining finally. Pally with the vine shield triggered. And it feels like Deathless army is all over the place. Todd had a handful of losses, especially the ghouls, man. This is quite some nice play with the ghouls split into the economy. Trapping the mountain king there. Needs a holy light soon. Ah, he's right next to the shop. He'll be fine. And Todd, he kind of only needs a third of his army to deal with the ground. But destroyers constantly get mana by water elementals. That makes them a little more powerful, but there we go. Heal ward, wonderful. The soup is lying, everybody. Todd needs a little bit more anti-air. And then he's totally fine. 
And here we go. Five gyros. I love that he pulled them together and not just sent them in one by one. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. To overwhelm the fiends on the ground. And now, yeah, Nine Death is completely overwhelmed with micro. If you look at Happy, he's doing everything perfect, but that's not normal. We all know it. And now the retreat is not covered by anything. And that is the new norm currently in this matchup. Late game belongs to the human and they got an easier time getting there because they also experimented a lot with their creep routes. So I think the flow chart is kind of similar like this. Get level two, creep the expansion, defend one or two times, then you should be at a high enough level that you don't have to creep. Then you go for the counter push to possibly d destroy slaughterhouses and then it's your game. Todd again with the last hit. Battle Bongos, third aura. Nice to have. Archmage not even part of this. That is the flowchart against Crypt Lord, by the way. Not in general. That flowchart is working really, really, really well. <sighs> Sweet Impales. It's always a feel-good spell. But let's be honest, even though it's level 3, Knights are great against it. Against ghouls. Uh, against uh, rifles. Wonderful. Footmen. Wonderful. Hits casters. Wrecks them. But against knights, no chance. 5, 4, 3 heroes. So good. Brilliance aura. Level 3. Perfect choice. Another level up. Touches takes this. Also, the expansion upper left is up. Bottom right has been scouted. Disease cloud is working overtime. Deathless is making Todd work for his point. But that's about it. Lich level 1 is uh, not good enough. Todd retreats. I like it. There's no objective here anymore. He can heal now against the disease cloud. Regen up. Needs the storm bolt. Needs the claps. And that is game. Litard wins map number one here in the qualifier. It's one step away from the semifinal, which will await us in a bit. Cool to see Todd playing one-on-one -on -one again and one-on-one -on -one tournaments again outside of Meisterschaft. Always, you know, very popular when he's on streams. Popular in terms of generates high interest and there's the 1 -0. so we always have to check flow tv um we have to check Wikipedia. i'm not really sure where the people get their information Ooh, wait a minute the flow tv says leave disconnect so there is a small chance that there's a regame. Uh, okay, that's not good. He disked, he disked, yeah. Yeah, I see that now. Uh, the thing is in Flow TV you don't see chat, so I don't I couldn't see. If he typed it in game or not. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So we'll see if there's a regame or not. I'm pretty sure admins will discuss this now. I think this was over a million times, to be honest. Hero levels were freaking crazy. Oh, 
Of course it was over. Yeah! Yo, Inspired, nice that you signed up, mate. I know that a lot of people tried to sign up, but nobody really knew how to do it. How do you make it work? With the Tian? Look good from Todd's position. Yeah, 100%. Ah, you got a QQ account. Damn. That is pretty impossible to get these days, I think. Be right back. Yeah, I tried to open them up to the possibility of using challenge. Unfortunately, I didn't succeed. So which chicken? Wait, was Todd playing with his Todd account or with the... Oh, we can just look for DDD. Wait, they... It's a re-game? No, that's the old game. Okay. I thought for a second, uh, since there was another Northern Isles hosted, or uh, there was a Northern Isles hosted, that that was that, but just looks like uh, we're discussing this still. When one guy is in a better position and the other guy disconnects, it makes no sense to regame. You gotta be responsible for your connection. Kinda. Yeah, depends on the rule set of the tournament, so. Oh, right, let me get rid of all these ESL bot messages. Because, of course, when we cast Meisterschaft, there's paid for bot messages in the chat. But if we don't cast Meisterschaft, we don't need them. I think that should be cleaned now. Yeah, I think a very good start. Very, very good start for Todd into the tournament. Super solid. You can see the similarities between him and what Leon played yesterday against Ido. Not the exact same thing that they did, but focusing on creeping early. The defenses, the timing pushes against the slaughterhouses. Real nice. Do you smoke weed? Nope. I did it for like one and a half years, but it got boring. I just got tired and fell asleep and that was it. I'm rooting for Todd. Me too! Todd absolute bro to me for like eight years or something. I bought Todd's Love with a t-shirt. I don't know if you guys remember this or if you know this. Um, we were at Games Convention, uh, Gamescom 2015 for WCA Warcraft 3 and I think Todd was there with Kilaris for Starcraft in a whole, whole different hall. And I think Kilaris saw us with the old Back to Warcraft t-shirts and told Todd and that's when he reached out to me via Twitter that the shirts are super sick and super cool. And I sent him one. And since then, we're buddies. I 
I still don't see a new game. Ah, there it's up. Okay, so in three minutes we have it. Oh, Lou, awesome. Thank you for the three month resub. Keep up the good work. Much love. Free merch is the best networking tool. Uh, me and Art of Warcraft, we were discussing merchandise yesterday, or he sent me his ideas for merchandise. We definitely need new merchandise. That's a fact. If you're a designer and uh, want to create some merchandise for us, let us know. I can help you create some merch. Awesome, Nenu! Can you reach out to me somewhere? Uh, Twitch DM, Discord DM, Twitter DM. Yeah, Discord is the best. Yeah, of course, compensated. I mean, you can send in designs for free if you want, but if there's some good stuff and we sell it, then we want to compensate you, that's for sure. We could also... Like, we can do it both ways or something. We could do people reaching out um, if they want to work for us. And we could do a contest, maybe. There can be some, some interesting entries, I'm sure. Is that Icos? Yeah, I switched to Icos in October, I think. And I haven't had a normal cigarette since. Took some time to get used to it. Is the stream lagging only for me? Mm, I dropped zero frames, so it shouldn't. By the way, the next map is Last Refuge, so I think we can give Todd the give win. And there we have the 1-0. Nice. Is there a story behind the current Back to Warcraft logo? It's a B, it's a 2, and it's a W. Goes to Reno! Thank you for the 30 month resub! Go, 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 Todd! Flow TV delay is over. Yeah, I told you guys at the beginning of the stream that we're using Flow TV and that it, there is a delay. I don't want to repeat myself a million times now for people who are coming in late, so uh, sorry if I ignore this. All right, we got a game. Todd won. Nine Deathless, zero! There we have it. Alright, is it... I think the biggest question here, is it the Crypt Lord again? As I said, Nine Deathless is kind of a wild playstyle with uh, off-meta strategies. So everything is possible, literally. It's a three minute delay, not a ten minute delay. Jason Rex. Oh, maybe we can. We can just put it in the bot. Set delay 180 second flow TV delay. Be happy to! There we go! <laughs> Thanks, Donate. Oh, yeah. I just copy. I just copy yours, man. Set delay. Every three minute delay. There we go. And if you spoil, you get banned. Easy as that. We got a Crypt Lord again. Damn, this feels like Leon vs. Edo from yesterday. This is exactly what I ended up with yesterday at my, what was it, 13 hour cast or something? And on the first game of the day, <laughs> it's the same. All right, this should be a very similar game. 
And I think Todd knows exactly what to do. Very, very sure about that. So is there a pot There is a small, tiny potential for Nine Deathless to go for a Crippler Tower Rush. Like a 0.5% chance. But that's about it. Yo, X-Lord, what's up? Very excited for you. Ah, oh, for your games tomorrow. Shadow Priest stolen and killed, but at least it's been stolen. But big experience right away. On top of a big camp and a big item. And it's not even an instant expansion. And because it's not an instant expansion, the counter push will also be delayed. What he got? Rune Bracers. Nice against Undead Nuke. Alright, looking fine. Expansion only now. That feels pretty late. And again, Todd focusing on creeping first. Not the instant aggression that Leon was playing, so Todd a little more conservative and careful. Maybe it has to do with the Shadow Priest. Oh, Nine Deathless wanted to steal another Shadow Priest. Three seconds, two seconds. Oh! He got the Berserker. <laughs> but that could be a surround, actually. No. That is... Uh, I'm not too sure if they play with Ping Equalizer. If not... Huge advantage for DDD. Especially in these situations. But usually everything is played with ping equalizer. I would be very surprised if not. Okay, Mr. Deathless is facing a level 3 Archmage. Todd has the Shadow Priest, but that was uh, intercepted right away. This is more problematic! Impale! Who oh, got it? I think Nine Death is... Wow, Todd got everything with the Militia? That's sick, despite the Impale. Berserker. Fine. No! 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 Not down yet. There we go. With new Militia called. Deathless gets his expo up at like halfway. No more mana. These are the last set of beetles. I think this is this is uh, an expo now. Ooh, plus ten on the Crypt Lord is pretty feisty. <laughs> TH has seen enough. Or maybe lagging as well. Alright, Expo looking fine. I don't think there's big potential for Deathless here anymore. This rather feeds the Archmate. Look at the Beatles, they're all hurt. There's one more set, that's fine. Arcane Tower is coming up as well. Three Beatles and no time. Closing in on level four. The Crypt Lord is the one true challenge for Todd here. With his two claws. But that's about it. Even the denies work. The ghoul is killed. Level 4 acquired. And Todd got another Shadow Priest. Boom, the spell. Yep, this looks good. Later tech than he initially wanted to, I'm sure. But it's definitely playable. Expo up. Lumber management is great, so he only has to wait a few seconds and then he got it. There it is. 6 minutes 45. I think attack within the 6 minute range is always considered good.
Am I right with this? It's just my caster observation, of course. Maybe someone who's better at playing human can help me out a bit. More mercs. Man, he fed so many mercs into this Archmage already. We even got a Mud Golem, lol. Undead units too weak. <laughs> Need to go for mercs. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say, I didn't say that. I didn't mean that. Archmage is checking about the tech status. Half a tech behind, that's fine. I wonder... Todd has not as many footmen as in game one. And Deathless keeps better track of him. He's also in a better position than last game to defend the slaughterhouses. Because that's the target right now, right? Todd scouted it all out. And yeah, there's not much he can do currently. Game one was also Crypt Lord, yes. Exposed pretty defended. Double tower, whoa. I think Todd can't really dive for the base as there is no defend this time. So he steals a camp away, that's good. I always love it when you I impale the troll trapper and he does a backflip in the air. It's perfect. Scroll of protection. That's interesting. Wants to brawl. Wants to keep Deathless busy. And it's rather cheap. So why not? He had the gold. He has the gold still. And defend. Yeah, good luck with Fiends and Berserker to fight this. Renessa89, thank you for the 9 month resub! It does. I think not always. But you know, they do these backflips every once in a while, and if you time it well, they do it precisely in the air. That's perfect. That's a perfect impale. No impales here, as there is no mana potion, just coils, as everything is so hurt. Would love to have a heal scroll now, but do you really want to use heal scroll for footmen? I don't think so. Archmage is such a beast. Level 3 Water Elementals at the 10 minute mark. It's so good. Kalashnikov, thank you for the 11 month resub as well. Pururaj, thank you for the 25 month resub. Oh, are we conducting a hype train again? Certainly looks like it. We're about to depart. Yeah, Todd is once again losing a lot of footmen, but that's fine. Death IHC, thank you for the four month resub. Pokey Pikachu. Much love, mate. Does the HC stand for hardcore? I approve. Wow, Todd's just uh, pressuring the sun dead. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That shadow priest is about to fall. No deny there, I guess. He's healing himself a little bit. Mountain King didn't get the item. Book of the Dead. That's pro that could be problematic. Oh, good dodge. Yeah, the power of water mental level 3 at this stage of the game when there's no destroyers in sight. It's great. And Todd is just grinding these units. Takes care of his MK, puts him back, waits for the pally, and now can spend his big bank. Four statues already. That's excessive. Does Todd even have workshops up yet? Oh yeah, he does. 
was worried a little. Five euros by Zeddy! Neo, we want to see... See you on OnlyFans. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not as desperate. Morris, thank you for the tier one up. Hype train has started. Two, two MFers. Great flying machine position, love it. So we mask on top of the two claws, that's really good. This is a better game for Deathless than before. The Emja, thank you for the sub. Choo choo indeed. Clap online, Mountain King two and a half. Pally is creeping. Oh, we got Sanctums this time. Gonna see some dispel against beetles. More upgrades. Yeah, Todd is spending his bank well. Hype train level two, let's go. Oh wow, this clock of flames here. This is very good on a crit lord. Let's see what Todd gets. Katka's pipe. Meh, that's one for the shop. He has that aura already. Appreciate all the content, good times. Thank you, Mors. Thank you for the support. Good times indeed. Yesterday and today. Bold prediction. The prophet speaking here. Deathless gonna have no chance in the upcoming fight. Love the Todd scouting. First the gyros, then the militia. Okay, good luck. Oh, gyro caught. But it's, oh my god, it's a full control group. That impale is pathetic. Look at the gyros go! Yeah, okay, no, yeah. Uh, there's absolutely no chance. Ho, 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 ho. If there's no destroyers, there's no solution versus knights. What are these statues doing? They kind of missed the mark. It's a lot of dead supply now, but it doesn't really matter. Look at them fiends go. Militia slaughtered, but that's what they're there for. Always a good sign if the humans can use their holy light offensively. Oh, that was a sick AoE here, though. Okay, that was the number one deathless moment in this entire series. Okay, deathless is doing better than expected. Way better than expected, actually. These three knights, that's 12 supply. Need to save it. Only one staff, always wonder, can't you go for more? That would save a lot more knights. Uh-oh, MK. Need to be careful. No mana on the pally no more. As more A-bombs are coming in. Classic transition. Todd? Very offensive now. Sorks are coming in as a counter to gyros. That's quite nice. Oh, but the heroes. Todd, be careful. Water elemental is very, very hard to dispel. Yeah, these gyros are a liability now. Maybe a little bit of a misread. Uh, I also thought it's gonna be a lot more gyros when I saw the four statues. We didn't go for him. Impale sick again. He's getting caught out. Very weird fight now. Would love to see some flying machine bombs to kill these statues in the back. Hero focus, DK. There's another holy light soon, isn't there? There is, and the DK falls. 
Whoo, Todd finding his way out. Pally staffed and saved. Lich in trouble. MK also in trouble. Oh, but level four. Wonderful. Can he save him somehow? Somehow. Mountain King, run. Okay, Crypt Lord gets level five. Sick game. That's what we're here for. Surround, surround, surround. Yep. Second expo. And scouted immediately. Sick. Okay. We have ourselves a game. DK is back from the tavern. That was expensive. Todd still needs to rebuild big time. Level 6 Archmage though. We can jump around. If 9 Deathless keeps him a little bit of time to actually jump around. A bomb in the front, soon to be slaughtered. Two A bombs about to fall. The la lack of level 3 brilliance aura is noticeable, and that's exactly what I mean. Like, flying machine bombs, they don't do much damage, but if you have 12 gyros, you can pressure these statues so well. And now they're gone. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. It's not... I think it's not the cheapest upgrade, is it? But it's worth it. Like, it's... If you have a full group of gyros... Ha! <laughs> Todd bought a mechanical critter! He can TP onto it, can he not? Oh, that's gonna be so sick! <laughs> oh man, if this works, it'll be so good. Main base is about to be expired. Two minutes. Just wait two minutes till he crosses the map. Yeah! Crypt Lord looks, looks scary though. But there's no TP, no Necro. Can't save this at all. There we go. It's already across the map. I think, uh,. It's not exactly how you envisioned this play. We have a base race, nine deathless town portaling. Oh, he forgot half his army! Ay, 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 including the lich, including the orb. No Nova, no minus armor. Good luck facing 11 armor knights without orb of corruption. He's fighting into towers. That helps a bit. But, uh, yeah, that's a mistake you can't do. Or can you? Pally! Staff, well done. DK again, far forward, catching hammers. Guys, this- Oh, death pack! Sick save. It still looks like a 2-0 to me. As the DK is finally falling. And the air bombs as well. There we go! That is Todd in the semis. Yeah, I can't stop this without a DK. There's no way. Flying machine bombs, everybody. Main base is empty. Expansion still stands, but only for 500. Not a big bank on either side. And with the sustain of Brilliant's Aura, soon to be three, I think it's fine. <gasps> Another claw, I didn't even see that yet.
mithril plating, more armor. Yeah, this is good. And now the mains are empty. We build another one here on the high ground. And then we can always town portal on that pig. That's awesome, actually. Todd will see if there's a third base coming. And if there is, he can wait until it's finished and portal onto it. That's a mechanical critter right there, everybody. <laughs> That's why you kill all the critters! Cool to see cannibalize as well. Free healing, why not? Especially for after a fight. If you go that heavy on A-bombs... There's no reason not to go for cannibalize. And now it's a little obvious that this is not the normal critter. <laughs> Come on, will we see it? It's only 15 HP though. He can kill it rather easily with Acolytes if he's in range. It has to happen. It has to happen. Please, for once in our Warcraft lives, give us the beautiful ending that we deserve. He's so close to Acolytes, I don't think it's working. Here we go, Mastelli! It works! On to the Mechanical Critter Play of the Month by Todd. Alco uh, Archmage Ultimate onto Mechanical Critter. Amazing. Amazing. That's the way. That's peak Warcraft right there. And he can portal back in five seconds. Now. Not on the high ground. Okay. The things that will make you happy in a 20 year old game. Exactly! Exactly! Ah, supply lead. Echo lead. Nine Deathless has to brute force this, but it's only beetles. Should be relatively easy. Where are the gyros? Are they all gone? Did he rotate them out? Okay. That's a bit bad then. But, I mean. This army is still so sick. The heroes, six, five, four, at this stage, very hard to beat. Todd is about to lose quite some HP and uh, quite some knights to this Nova, exactly. And if he's, a oh, that's a lot of knights. That's five knights. Five guys disappearing soon. Pally in trouble. No save. Oh my god, the balls. Turns around for the Holy Light to get yet another heal. Here's the Devo uh, Divine Shield to keep him safe for even longer. Oh my god, the balls on top. Is there a staff ready? There must be. No, it's not. Ha. Huh. Playing with fire. He's not getting burned. Level 6 on the Crypt Lord Ultimate is always very underwhelming. And of course, Todd has income. Deathless doesn't. Oh, 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 oh! There's the staff ready. And as long as the Mountain King got his hammers up, I think it's fine. Destros are a little problematic though, but it's also for Todd a relatively easy switch to go back into gyros as there is no fiends anymore. One Destro down. Level 5 Lich though. Archmage, new keeps. Oh no! Ooh. Staff up. The beauty of a Staff Sanctuary. Man, Hero Arena. It's not that easy for Todd.
Oh, the night. Very important to keep all the heroes up. Time to regen. But he has to save this base. Wait. Is this not over? We're also kind of close to level 3 coil. Uh, certainly entertaining. Now we got level 3 brilliance aura, by the way. Deathless sold a lot of his base. I think Todd sees this. This should be our hero pig. He also sees that there's a bit of production. Todd, I... Did he... He has no gold. Okay, the hero arena continues. Nobody can lose a hero right now. Whoever loses a hero first is dead. Holy Light had to be used defensively. Started stepping by nine deaths to get out of gyro range. Todd has to sell items. Big Mac, thank you for the sub. 12 months already. Wonderful. Ooh, the undead ability. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes. Here's the nuke. Pelly has no divine shield currently, but also no mana. No mana on the creepy. No mana on the lich. Divine shield again. There's a hammer lined up, isn't there? Yep. A hammer with the crypt lord's name on it. Or DK. DK is better. There's death pack though. Can't use it on anything, can he? Destroyers and statues doesn't work. Nice cancel. A player's under attack. These games are nuts. So both have one improvement left. That's coil three. And that's also Holy Light 3, plus ultimates. Nobody's money. Deathless can still sell some buildings, especially towers. Yeah, how is he supposed to break Todd's bases is the question. Against mass teleport? And the amount of HP they got. That's the question right now. The pig, the all seeing pig. He knows what he's up against. Also, the ring can be sold. Todd keeps the ring until the very late stages. I like that he puts the bracers here. Oh, the DK is getting caught! Oh! Needs to fight out, needs to eat a beetle. They're basically free potions right now. Impale was sick. And the Destros, man, they're tearing these knights apart. These destroyers, that's not good. Todd needs the hero kill. Desperately, but there's always death pack. Nukes more. Everything has been stopped. Coil is ready. Pally <sighs> stepped out last second. But there's no healing anymore now. Archmage got a TP. No mass teleport. Another night down. <gasps> Deathless got the lead. Always a little bit of long distance mining. Destroyer is now out of mana. Yeah, that hero focus is really hard. If there's death pack, the death pack skill is gonna save him the game. But 
But with mass teleport and these heroes, basically free healing. Destroyers, if they don't have mana, they don't do anything. Where's our pig? <laughs> it's items on the ground still. Love the burrow beetle for scouting. Oof, 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 oof. Now we sell the ring. What he got for it instead. Oh, we can build a base again. Todd can build a base again. <gasps> He's selling so much. And he puts it all into gyros, not into a new base. Is that the right call? New base is useless, he can't hold it. You sure? He cannot defend the base right now, no way. He needs the gyros. Okay, 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 okay. If you guys say so, I trust you. Oh, that was level 5 DK. And he got rid of all the staffs. The gyros got a carry now. But it's no A click on the gyros anymore because he got the bombs. Of course, need to be microed. If you don't have the flying machine bombs, it's rather easy. You just A-click them into the fight. If they have the bombs and you A-click, they prioritize whatever's in front of them. DK. He has so much mana, though. No web, of course. The flag cannons are doing a fine job. DK! Again! In so much trouble. What's left? He saved every destroyer up until now. Okay. Oh, the gyros were the right call, as it seems. Lich, if the Lich dies, there's almost no anti anymore. But the coil was ready. God damn. Into the towers. This will probably get rid of every gyro and every destro. The gyros are attacking the Lich. Don't do this to me, Todd. <laughs> oh, right next to the graveyard. He can't summon more beetles. One destroyer is still up. What is this game? Into the undead base. No staffs anymore, mind you. Gyro's all gone. Two destroyers up. There's also no items to sell anymore. There's a lot of items on Deathless. That was probably a little too much. <sighs> what to do now? We got clap three with MK6. For what, just more burst damage. Okay, can we nuke? The coil was used. Lich is the target. Coil is ready in one. Oh, so close. Another night falling at 655 heroes, of course. Watermentals must be devoured, are devoured. But he only wants the Lich. He gets the Lich now. He does. He has to. Come on, Don. Get him. Oh, finally. At the moment, no resource to bring him back. And the Lich carried three of the items. But how do you save that Paladin now? Is a little bit of the other question. Without Orb of Corruption, without Nova, maybe not the greatest danger anymore? He wants more. He wants the DK. Is that too greedy? There's always stuff! MK surrounded! No staff! Oh no! 
Oh, the greed! He wanted the DK! Only, only light left! Come on, burn! Yes, he's freaking death pack, dude! Are you kidding me? Mass tally, no impale. Okay, both players lost the hero. I'm losing my mind! What a sick game! 11 supply versus 26. A 40 minute game. But no free healing anymore. Deathless is just diving for the kill. And he gets it. He can't heal himself. That's it. Archmage is left alone. And this is game. Nine Deathless wins this game. So sick. <laughs> oh man. There was such cool plays in this game. Mass teleport onto a pig. But I think, yeah, I think Todd got a little bit too greedy there after the Lich kill. He could just pull back. Regen and then he gets it. Uh, 40 minute game and we're at 1-1. One, one. Good content, everybody. Good content. That was one of the craziest games this year. Never surrender. True. Once again, for the uneducated flaming masses out there in Flow TV, there's no chat. So hold back the flames, you idiots. I wonder if these guys need a break now. That was exhausting. That was super exhausting. I wonder... <clears throat> if Todd is not mismicroing the gyros there due to the flying machine prioritization... Will he just kill the Destros and win? Because then the water elementals can't be dealt with. I think that's a solid choice. It's so annoying though. Uh, I do feel like Gyros... Ruler said it in chat. There's no break by the way. Uh, Ruler said it in chat and he says it for a long, long, long time. That Gyros need prioritization. So even if they have landmines, they should attack air. They were, the gyro bombs were really good for killing the statues because he had so many of them. But in the end, it just adds to the micro. Imagine the poor FFA players versus Night Elf with Taunt and Chimps who never got attacked by Gyros. <laughs> yeah, but the, the 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 prioritization spell. Oh, it still says Ted Cup. Whoopsie. Um, the prioritization spell ability. It's not working that well because you have to do it for every single unit there is. And you can't just switch the entire group, unfortunately. That makes him so, it makes it so weak.
New game in a minute. No rest for the wicked. Do they need the ability? That is one of the things that should better players do. Micro them as Garks on the other side. It's pretty much the same. It's just annoying. I don't think that it tells me who the better player is if one of the players did click on one button to switch prioritization. SUD, you can stone form. That resets it. Really? I didn't know that. That helps for sure. Greetings new, enjoying the new flat. Oh, I uh I got something yesterday. A little decoration. I hope I can show it to you guys. Oh my god, it's so big! It's so big! Can you see that? I got huge ass Warcraft posters. These are like a meter 20 or something. And I'll be hanging them all over my flat. I got that one of the Rust Brain Cup. I got this one from Sky. Ah, it's gorgeous. They're all huge and will decorate my flat. Sorry, the green screen makes it quite hard. So yeah, once they're all up and everything is set, I'll make a room tour and shit. But yeah, I'm gonna have like seven big Warcraft posters in my hallway. So everybody knows it's the Prophet's flat. Game up, tight hunters! Do you have a poster of PCG? Are you kidding me? I got Mad Frog, Sky, Lin, Moon, Grubby, and TH, but a smaller one. I need Law Light and Kevin. All right. We got a new sub. Very hard to read. Bring the rain. Thank you. Six month resub. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, let's pew, pew, pew a little bit on the battlefield. Decider. Todd vs. 9 Deathless. Tight Hunters. The winner moves on to the semi. How do we have results from the other playgrounds? Doesn't seem like it. Not on Liquipedia at least. Super hard to keep track of all of this. Only the winner advances by the way. Yeah, no results yet. That's understandable. If you guys have any results from games that you might uh, watch in your Flow TV, let us know. I feel like... Do I need other posts? I feel like I need a, an Infi poster as well. Definitely need a Lawlight one. And then I got all the goats. Do I not? I do have Grubby. I do have Lin. Sky? I just showed you Sky! It's a crypt load again, by the way.
Yeah, for years I was trying to find frames for these, as they are so big. As I said, 120 times something. And guess what? Frames with glass and all are very expensive at that size. Costs like 150 or something euros. So uh, I found a better solution with magnet stripes. Both are going for expansions once again, that was to be expected. I think also the hero combo was to be expected. Guys, if you go to a player's chat after a loss and you poke the bear and you get banned, don't whine in my chat about it. You know it's coming for you. <laughs> are you really surprised about that? Like, if you play a sport, and you just lost an epic, epic match, and you know that you could have won it, and some idiot on the sideline comes up, and <laughs> you lost. <laughs> you want to slap in the face as well. Ooh, that impale was sick. Only level one though. That is. That looks like. One of the better harasses we've seen today from all three harasses. Oh, the concave of skeletons and beetles is very good so far. Still got the denies in. Oh, damn. It's finishing. Level three right away. Okay, I was wrong. This didn't do much. Tower up, expo up. This is the fastest expo of all of them. It's also tight hunters, so. I just gotta be careful and not be surrounded by all that stuff on the ground. He didn't lose a single ghoul. Yeah, but he lost a lot of summons. And you see, it's already level 3. Double claw for Todd. Another round of attack coming. If he holds this, he has a super fast attack. He's, of course, solid distraction. Did Todd... Well, was Todd ever able to go into an undead expansion? Not really, right? I don't think so. Now there's a little bit of a problematic situation because it's only ghouls, but they're okay. They're all hurt. He doesn't want to fight them. Militia's coming in as well. And that's a fine counter push. Mr. Deathless. A little bit out of position. Tech at 616. That's half a minute faster than Last Refuge. Archmage is safe from surrounds. Trading footman, he can easily afford it. About to lose the two footies here, but killing Acolytes instead is so much more value. Killing Necropoly. So far the footman can all be healed again. How many will he sacrifice though? Oh, slow. It's exp getting expensive. That was half a level and more. But damn, there was a lot of income. 
Todd's income steady. Of course, with fighting here, deny. With fighting here, his peasants aren't suffering. That's pretty much how Leon played it with a very different creep route, though. And with his Archmage, you want to continue pressuring, of course. Three claws! And he could never build a Necropolis, so this is also a delayed tier 3. Super smart by Todd. If the Necropolis comes up here, the Acolyte losses don't really matter. Because you can just rebuild them and tech. But now there's only one. And so he has to re rebuild all the Acolytes and the Necropolis and then he can tech. Are you guys watching Ted or Remind somewhere? I'd love to see their results. Little bit of stability. Here comes the tech finally. But Mountain King is out. Wait, we go double racks on tier two. We pushing this with rifles. Double, okay, no, he's teching. Oh, he's teching for a long time. Wait, why is the update not showing? That's weird. That's really weird. Um, okay. Can someone put this in our Discord in the feedback channel that Castle Tech didn't get displayed? I have to investigate. Ooh, Archmage hurt and a push coming. That's not great. Trying to play this game of chicken who portals first. Wait, he's falling back? That feels like it was a great chance for Deathless to do some damage. Death is it's not a good game for you, buddy. Not at all. Shop is up. I love it. Double Knight, Pally, Gyros. Okay. Spooky! Thank you for the 19 month resub. Yo, 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 go Todd! We have a different build this time by Deathless, though. Going Banshees early. And a group check here. There's a TP. This will hurt. He's trying to evacuate with a zap. There's not too much anti-air. And the town portal out is still necessary. As you know, the gyros are coming in. Item was a subby mask again. This helped him a lot in the second game. <laughs> There's no web. The gyro is basically free reign. Looking good for Todd. Try hero up. Huge supply lead. Tech was delayed. Lich only coming up now. Oh, 
Doffo, thank you for the 30 month resub. Two and a half years, my friend. Thank you. Less than three right back. Can I feel Todd has the right prior leveling up? This expo, though, <laughs> that's cheeky. And he's going heavy onto gyros again, despite there being no destros this time. So Deathless can just ignore them. Ooh, Book of the Dead with no dispel. Oh, that can be really good. Double mana potion for lots of impaled claws plus nine robe. Lich is a beast already. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, that's third base. After game two, I can certainly feel or see that Todd thinks is necessary. But maybe oh, Crypto's around. There's no TP. Just a myriad of coils with all the potions that he brought. Maybe not the right target. Yeah, surround opened up. Statues far up front. Holy light, holy light, holy light, holy light. It's on cooldown. Oh no, he kills the MK. Ooh. Problematic. He sees the Banshees now, goes into uh, mortar teams immediately. And now we got web. All right. If Todd can get some kills, this is still playable, but man, that third base was so greedy. And the push continues. Expo is up. Can't be cancelled anymore. Mountain King at 45. There's also a big mana potion that he just found. Three mana potions. Oh my god. Or maybe was a display wrong? Because of a little bit of a cooldown. Pally far up front, getting nuked immediately. Hero Focus is the name of the game. I feel like we need a militia call here. Mountain King back in 15. The little dwarf will have such a huge impact. Matoid is also getting quite a bit of kills. Water Elementals with big impact, of course. Lack of Dispel. Three, four units about to fall for Deathless. Yeah, Todd got this. Woo! With the Mountain King here. Pelly is back as well. A few Knights fall, but with three gold mines, he can easily sustain this. And there's no TP. Onto the ledge. We now have anti-magic shell, which is kind of good, but I don't think this helps too much. Todd cleans this up rather easy. Sick production now. Four units at a time, constantly, still floating 500 gold. No TP. Guys, I think we're gonna have some fun with Todd for the rest of the day. <sighs> Clutch hold there. That was a scary, scary, scary push with only two heroes. Staff? Ready. Plus the town pole. Yeah, this time he's not overpacing compared to Last Refuge. I like it. He was running out of steam a little bit. Better to pull back. But there is Banshee Master training now. You gotta be ready for that. Need more staffs and more heroes. And wreck them, them Banshees as fast as possible. So yeah, as long as there's Banshees, it's not over. This 
especially when that base comes up. But there should be gyro scouts. Five Archmage, level three Brilliant Zora this time, a lot faster. The push is not stopping. Todd has a TP, uses it, can't trade a TP. Was he jumping right on top? Nope, very defensive. Do we have possessions? Not too much mana in general on these Banshees. He can possess maybe once, but there's a staff against it. Yeah, easy cleanup. Mithril Swords, three, two upgrades on these knights. Plus flute for mortars. I like it. Don't allow that third base though. Ooh, so many banshees. If the statues work over time, create mana. If he's not spamming magic shield and curse, this is tough to counter. This is really tough to counter. Two staffs up. And one bolt, of course, but that bolt is ending up on the Crypt Lord immediately. No possession yet. I don't see him. They're not coming. Lots of focus on the Crypt Lord, who has no TP, but again, so many coils available. Frag shot focus seems a little off. Banshee's all healthy. Trying to burn through the anti magic. Where are the possession pearls? We still don't see. Okay, it's, uh, at this point, knights are too hurt. There's no real value. But the creepy. What about the creepy? DK is. Ooh, with the last second coil. Come on, Todd. You can do it. A thousand gold. Lumber is a little low, but now the mortars find the connection. And then Banshee said no chance. We have seen one possession, but there was so much more possible, I feel. One of the last coils. Oh my god, the Banshees. Once the mortars connected, so much damage. And Todd holds at 80 again. The Possessed Knight was also falling. Yeah, this army is rather ridiculous at this point. The heroes are still a threat. A player's forces are under attack. Not a perfect fight by any means, but absolutely enough. But this is still a threat. Yeah, Chad, you're absolutely right. It doesn't know about this expo. He could have killed it easily if he goes south. And so the tug of war continues. Switch into destroyers now, but not enough fiends to web all of them, I feel. Yep, they're gone here. Solid kiting by Deathless, actually. Ah, now we got the expo. Or do we? He knows about it at least. High upkeep for Todd. More gyros. Would be a dream for Deathless. He could nuke these mortars. It's five mortars. Oh my god. But Todd has a crosshair on the creepy and he dies and all the banshees die in the back as well. Guys, Todd survives to fight another day. This is unholdable now. We're at the 21 minute mark. Krippy is dead. Third base is dead. All the acolytes are feeding. Todd's army composition is rather perfect now for this stage of the game. And these gold mines, they don't last for too much longer. A bomb transition. Ah, I don't think it's doing well. Todd has like 2k left and this mine, so 8k total, 800 here, around 4200. At least.
these strat spot. But can this save Deathless? I don't think so. Todd is making sure that there's no expansion rebuild bottom left. Look at this Congo line. I'm gonna slay some undead. I'm gonna slay some undead. De -de 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 -de. This is how you beat the campaign the quickest with mortar team building elimination. Learned that from good old Rose and Kill. Yeah, good luck holding the siege. Knights holding the fort in a position where they can swap to this or this. Death is trying to intercept reinforcements, but that's not happening. Krupi is back, but no mana. Good luck. Tier 3 is falling. There's a huge nuke coming on the mortars, I feel. But Todd TPing out. One loss only. Not even spamming the spells. Ah, two mortars, I think, in the end. Okay, is that the big last fight? A hundred human supply. The perfect army with sick levels. Deathless is fighting hard, but he's losing his creepy once again, despite anti-magic. And I was even too fast for a winner's animation to play. GG! Todd wins this semi-final. This looked a lot more decisive than the game before. And Tidehunters goes to Latod. Nice to see. So, we all wonder who his opponent is. Flow TV might show us. I don't think Liquipedia can show, show us yet. It's too many games to update, I think. So, his opponent is probably gonna be PCG. Who is definitely the favorite in that part of the bracket. Let's take a look together. That's... Oh, that's a little bit too big. That's the best way for you to see it, right? So, Remind is in this bracket, Ted is in this bracket, PCG is in this bracket, and Todd is in this bracket. So, since Todd is advancing, he's in the semis. And yeah, PCG, I don't know who the Chinese human is. Or who V is. But if PCG is not clowning around with 20 shades, then that should be be PCG vs. Todd. And that's a real challenge. Like, Deathless, not among the best undeads in the world. PCG... He's not too bad. Most of the time. 